Hey everyone, welcome. I'm what I always do this intro, but I'm dropping out of my PhD six months, June 2024, and I'm on a path to build or get build systems, apps, websites, whatever, to make 5k in passive income. Now, the thing is, that's not immediately clear to me. And before I get to that point, and unlike other YouTube channels, I'm sort of actively building this path for myself. And it's something that I'm sharing because it's not always clear a person's circumstances or maybe they have daddy money, daddy connections. And so for them, they're just give, being given thousands of dollars to try something or maybe they're selling courses and they're not uh, immediately transparent in how they're actually making their money. And I'm, that's how I, that's how I, my approach, uh, that's how I aim to differ in my approach, to try to be transparent. And so that starts with showing my path even before I've started to work on the apps. And so for me, what that path has been like so far, first thing, project management, project and task management system uh, with using Obsidian, which is a note taking app, uploaded that onto GitHub. Then I made the decision that I am going to drop out with 100% certainty. I've been saying it up until that point, but there was always like a, a small reservation that I can always change on this um, change on this opinion. But yeah, going through that uh, in-depth analysis, it's clear that dropping out would probably be the, would be the best for me overall, considering everything including financial compensation, but that's not the only factor. And so after that, now we're here where I'm working on really optimizing and making sure that I interact efficiently with my computer. So optimizing uh, my Mac and making sure that I, oh, I just said it, but optimizing computer productivity. And, and so what where that starts is with the setup and the customization and then the core apps that I'm using with how I can interact with my Mac computer. And as with everything, with everything I do, it I am following the tasks that are specific to me to get to uh, 5K in passive income. And and so I'm not just making tutorials, but on the other hand, whatever I do end up doing, I want to make some sort of guide out of it. And I Obsidian Vault seemed to be sort of the, the easiest and quickest way for me to do that. And so here I did some work offline since yesterday, um, but I've started setting up a computer productivity section in the vault that I've already shared where I share my, where I share a, a section on how to use Obsidian and then also how do you follow the getting things done productivity workflow with something like Obsidian. So I have that shared on my GitHub, now I'm adding to it. And so this is something that I've been working on today. And let's see. Yeah, so there's text then for the different computers. Right now, I'm probably for the foreseeable future, just going to have Mac unless um, there are people who want to contribute to Windows and Linux. It'll just be Mac for now. Now, within my Mac, uh, or within the Mac note, I go over the different settings and software and core apps that I basically have set up to improve my efficiency with using my Mac. And yesterday we walked over system settings offline. I went over these software and there's still some that I need to go through and some that I, I'm just don't need to go into. And I just needed to understand what it does to realize it's not necessarily for me. And that's, that's all I need. Um, yeah. So in general, finishing up what I started doing yesterday, and also making it a bit of a bit more uh, useful for other people. So documenting basically for other people to use. And yeah, 
so now that I've sort of documented everything up until this note, probably my goals for tomorrow are to document or to clear up the documentation for system settings, clear up the documentation for all the built-in software, and then set up these core apps. I have them downloaded. Some of them I'm already using. Some of them I need to dig a little deeper, see how to use it, write some notes about it and document it. And then at the end, just write down all my hotkeys here. Yeah, so then goal is to try to finish this tomorrow. Well, clean up this, finish this tomorrow. Probably by Sunday, I'll have a complete list of hotkeys and then I'll make a video about my setup. So then at that point, my next goal will be, let's see, where was it? Efforts, system, system, was it life ops, system settings, brainstorm. Yep, yep, there we go. So next goal after setting up sort of my computer is how do I organize, how do I interact with it? So organizing file my folders and files. And the main reason for this is I have lots of links. Um, was it links, podcasts, YouTube? Well, YouTube links, podcasts, uh, books, physical books, some PDFs. So these different resources that I'm going to reference in my, in planning my, my plan to, or in planning my path to 5k. Yeah, so set up folder file structure and start organizing my current files. And as soon as I can start doing this, I'll probably set up like another section in this vault and have a list of all the resources that, that are useful to me in terms of, now we're gonna be talking more about business and entrepreneurship. So what podcasts, what YouTubes, just get straight to the information and don't have as much fluff as a lot of these youtuber guru people that i would never watch as much as they have i have long run-on sentences but anyways yeah so then probably within this week i'll f or mid so probably in the next five days six days max going to have all my files organized and then we're going to be talking more specifics about how am I going to get to 5k I know this sort of uh, how would you say this this foundation building and not necessarily focusing on the problem is may not be what people are here for so being aware of that well, I mean, I'm not changing anything that I'm doing for to get faster to building. Like the steps I need to take are going to be the steps I need to take. But yeah, just trying to work at the best pace that I can to get there fastest. And let's see, is there anything else I need to mention? I think there's two other things that I to mention oh yeah 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 so two things one if you are really here for building you can go check out my second channel it's linked on my channel it's called francisco monroy learns there i'm essentially building well ramping up and then building a large language model for radiology report generation we've gone to the point where we've done a literature search we've um what was it yeah did a literature search found the top five papers we searched through 150 papers we we read the documentation for the two data sets that we're going to be using and so now we're going to explore uh, or go deeper into uh, reading those papers and going through their their code so probably PyTorch 
and understanding you. And so if that's something that's interesting, if that's something that interests you, how large language models work, how they're able to interpret images, and you want to get behind the scenes of PhD research and that sort of thing, that's definitely where you can go. And the second part is that I talked with my advisor and I got her on board with me sharing my healthcare research and my healthcare research project, which I mentioned in my YouTube Shorts videos, essentially was a startup that I was aiming to spin off. And I now that I can talk a little bit more about it, I can give more information on that, but it's going to be on my second channel again. My second channel is for everything that I'm learning. It's more, um, yeah, more targeted for what I'm learning, purely more intellectual than this channel, where this channel we're aiming to build, we're using what we know to build stuff. First channel is, or my, this is my main channel. My second channel is more for learning. We're just aiming to learn, not necessarily building, maybe some building like uh, like app development, learning app development, but not for an end purpose as much. Yeah, that's all I had to share today. See y'all tomorrow.